So I was having a conversation with a friend of mine uh, about a few days back, and we were talking about, you know, characters we just do not like, and we kind of got in the conversation of Spike a few times. Spike from, of course, uh, MLP. And we were talking, and he just said, how about they just make Spike a villain and be done with it? <laughs> and at first I thought, it was, it, you know, we were joking about it, but then after, you know, I was done talking to him, like I was at home just thinking, yeah, what if you did make Spike a villain? What kind of would that be? I feel like... Because here's the thing. Spike has not had a, a lot of good episodes. Especially, and you could argue that there are a few good ones. Secret to My Excess comes to mind, and a few others. But there are other episodes like Spike at Your Service and, you know, Then On. Because I can't seem to find any good Spike episodes from Then On. <laughs> and... Yeah... I just feel like, you know, also Spike gets trampled on a lot. I mean, he kind of uh, was a big help for the Crystal Empire. No one gave sh gave a shit about him. Um, except that glass mural, uh, mur whatever, ugh, mural on the wall of Canterlot, but eh, no one seems to care about that anymore. Anyway, so I kind after, you know, sitting down and thinking about it, I was kind of like, yeah, what if you did just decide to make Spike a villain? And knowing M.A. Larson, he may think of something like this in the future. Now, how I would do um, making Spike a villain, I think what I would do is do something in, in the vein of, like, Anakin Skywalker, but in, you know, a better way? <laughs> yeah. So that's what I would do, is basically focus, like, um, kind of do the whole Anakin Skywalker thing, but, you know, better, and without a love interest. But I think what I would do is have, like, maybe someone like Grogar or Tyrek or some other big villain kind of, like, temp Spike. and Because he because I think this, whoever villain is, maybe even Katrina. God, I'm referencing so many G, you know, uh, <laughs> pre-generation uh, uh, generation 4 villains. I know too much about this show. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, someone like Katrina or Grogar. And kind of like they're kind of playing on his insecurities, you know, knowing that, you know, Twilight is getting so powerful and becoming, you know, it's going to get to the point where she never needs Spike. Like, he's basically saying, you know, you're not, you know, she's not going to need you soon. No one is, and they're all going to grow old, uh, grow, uh, go on with their lives, and you're just going to be here. This weak little pathetic thing. And I think he would, like, whichever villain it is, even a previous villain, would just be preying on Spike's, you know, like I said, insecurities, and just kind of let it fester in his mind until eventually he's like, yeah, I want to get more powerful, you know? <laughs> they haven't done, you know, I do all this shit for them, and they, I barely get him even a thank you? Uh, no, fuck you. So, I think what would happen next is like, how, here's how I'd do it, the following... After you know, Spike just decides, yeah, I'm done working for you know working for Twilight and the, and the and the rest of them because yeah, in his mind he would feel, he would feel like after you know whichever villain preyed on his insecurities to the point of just letting that little thought in his head fester, he would go to the villain and be like, yeah, look, I'll do whatever you want, but I'm gonna need power to do this. So, v said villain gives Spike the power, and I would make him kind of like he would he would kind of grow up to be like this teenage dragon, kind of like the ones we've seen in, you know, previous episodes, like in Dragon Quest, and he gets, you know, gives him wings, and Spike kind of becomes more like Spike from Buffy. Not the best, uh, com uh, not the best comparison piece, but, eh, I was, that was what came to mind. But yeah, <laughs> he becomes, you know, he becomes the servant of evil, and I would just have, like, this great scene between them, you know, between Spike and Twilight, similar to how uh, you know, Batman and, and Jason Todd uh, went down. Like, uh, they're just having this conversation, and Spike's just like, oh, you got to talking with Tyrek, huh? Is that really what you want to believe? That all this dark magic did this to me? Or, <laughs> or maybe it's because I've always been this way, and you just didn't want to uh, admit it. And then have this big battle in the vein of, uh, uh, of Obi-Wan and, <laughs> and Anakin on Mustafar. Just have them fight in, like, have this air duel in front of a volcano or inside of a volcano, and yeah, it would just be this total punch up. The rest of the head canon would go that Spike would leave the villain and become his own villain. Like he he wouldn't really, like um he'd be more like anti hero slash villain, have his own gang. And in my mind, in my mind, it would be the villains would be, you know, voiced by Colin Murdoch, uh, Kaira Williams, Scott McNeil, and Matt Hill. If those names sound familiar, that's because... 
Um, those are all voice actors who worked on Stormhawks, and I would actually have like this new form of st of uh, this new version of Spike be voiced by uh, Samuel Vincent doing uh, like a darker, more aggressive, like a more sinister sounding Arrow voice. Like he sound like it's almost like borderline dark. His Dark Ace voice, but in a lighter tone. Yeah, I think about I've thought about this too much before doing this video. In fact, I've been meaning to do this video for a while. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to talk about what it'd be like if Spike was a villain. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> so yeah, I think what other like what I would like to do if, after making Spike a villain, like I said, is have him with his own gang of dragons and have them just be like, we're going to be thugs. We're just going to be you know, uh, we're going to go around cause some chaos, kind of be like the Lost Boys and. Um, maybe like the cowboys from Tombstone. <laughs> just, uh, just have a lot of fun. And cause a lot of pain and destruction. I don't know if I would make, you know, Spike like a full-on, you know, he's, wor you know, he would still work with the bad guys or the villain that turned him evil. Um, but he would still, he would work for them occasionally, but mostly he'd be out for himself. And sometimes, you know, that alliance would break down, and I think he would just really love to just really get under Twilight's skin. I think he would just really love to do something like burn down um, the Canterlot Library just because she loved it so much. Just like, oh, hey, Twilight, whoosh, <laughs> and just set it on, just set it all on fire, or, you know, just just do things that would just really, like, mentally sucker punch the main six, like blow up uh, the Canterlot carousel, you know, go to Canterlot, blow up um, uh, Rarity's new Canterlot boutique, or, you know, her pony, you know, her boutique in, <laughs> in Ponyville. Or, you know, destroy, you know, the Wonderbolt Academy just to spite Rainbow Dash, or destroy the bakery and all of Pinkie Pie's stuff in that underground lab she had. Or even set fire to Fluttershy's cottage. Yeah, I feel like he would be that kind of villain. He would just be this, oh, you know, this... <laughs> just this manipulative, spiteful asshole. I, that's the kind of villain... If Spike was ever to t go to turn to the dark side, he would be that kind of villain. Just this spiteful, I know all of your weaknesses... I know all of your, you know, what makes you what makes you think you're strong, and I know how to hurt you separately and mentally. I don't even have to touch you. I can just hurt you because I'm just that kind of asshole. Yeah, I just feel like he would be that kind of villain. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so you guys tell me, what, what would you do if you were given a chance to make Spike a villain? What kind of villain would you make him? Uh, would you give him henchmen? Um... Would you want him to have a redemption arc? I might want... If I ever got to write the, something like this, I might give him a redemption arc, but it would be very... You know, he would do some horrible stuff that just make him go, yeah, we... You know, you're back with us, but you're not with us, if you get our drift spike. But yeah. Really interested to see what you guys have to say about this, but would you want Spike to become a villain and kind of be like, um... Maybe that will give more to his character... Or, you know, just uh, really curious to know what you guys think of all this. Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.